And today, it's been a long time. I've tried to keep this from happening, but Dirk's back. <laughs> Dirk's on the show. Now I know hey. that. Uh, hey, I know that out of the tens of our, you know, the tens and twenties of our um, of our audience, the tens and twenties and thirties <laughs> oh, of our audience. Yeah, dozens. Yes, we have dozens of viewers. Dozens of users. Uh, two or three have emailed me and said they want to know more about Dirks. What? And, the, and, and the, then and they said they hated me too. No, 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 no. No, they no. Didn't. Okay. The, the the most often asked question is: Is Dirk straight, gay, bi, or something else? <sighs> Listen, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> you know, this reminds me. Uh, you're trying to confuse me, much like my my uh, my buddies in prison tried to. <laughs> You know, I remember they. Oh, you were in prison then. Yeah, and uh, it was a funny thing happened. Uh, they went and they, um, <laughs> they all said, "Come on down to the shower room," uh-huh. and uh, and uh, there'll be a, a woman there. Oh. So I walked in. Of course, I'm I, all naked, right? I'm I, all ready. I didn't know. That and I said, "Well, how are you going to bring a woman in jail?" I said, "Just show up." <laughs> so I went down there, that and uh, and I walked in. I said, "Hey, where's the woman?" I said, and there's a bunch of those guys in there. And they just said, "You're the woman," <laughs> and. Let's just say it was uh, it was a rough day. It was a bad day. <laughs> it doesn't sound good. It was a good. bad day. It was a teachable moment. And um, and uh, now, but you know what? I uh, you know I persevered. Yeah. And uh, so right? the next day, yeah. you would have thought, oh, walking in the yard. <laughs> yeah, right. I would have got an attaboy. <laughs> hey, looking good. And uh, hey, he's a trooper. Boy, hey, a pat on the back. Uh, No, it was not appreciated for all the hard work I put in there. I tell you, look at at that trooper go. Yeah, he knows how to make lemonade from lemons. (laughs) But you know, that sucks, dude. It does. does. Oh, and don't say the word sucks because it's. Oh, okay. I have flashbacks. Okay. (laughs) But, uh, oh my God! Anyway, so, so what else is new with you? <laughs> well, uh, I I uh, I went to this virtual reality concert last night. Okay. And I forgot to invite the famous KBJ. Oh no. Uh, you know, who, AKA Casey, who was just a, right. a guest on your last episode. Oh my God. He's such a wonderful guy, by the way. He is. He is, you know, and he's so talented. And, uh, now, and, and I realize how smart he is, and one day he's going to be my boss. He's like, driven. He's only 19. Yeah. He's and driven. uh oh yeah and uh I so think he's going places. now i almost feel sorry that was i kept calling him poop doggy dog <laughs> and uh his little faithful sidekick fruit fly <laughs> they're in the editing room right now working <laughs> poop doggy dog poop doggy dog <laughs> and i always be like hey what's up you know and he would never give me this <laughs> a little bit of love poop and then I'd, <laughs> yeah which is exactly what my cellmate said <laughs> And uh, which is weird. It was coincidental, and I had another flashback. Oh my god! But he was—he's—he's was, he was, he was, uh, he's amazing guy. He is. He's fabulous. I was just like, man. Yeah, he is. Amazing. I literally walked right after the interview. I walked up and I said, I shook his hand. I was like, I, I promise I'll start being nicer to you from <laughs> now on. In. Yeah, he's got a plan and he's following it through. Man. So, but I agree with you. I mean, somebody needs to pick up that moniker of Poop Doggy Dog. Yeah, <laughs> and Fruit Fly, his sidekick Fruit Fly. Fruit Fly. I like that. Yeah, you like flies then. I do, you know, and uh, uh, I like Fruit Flies better than, even though Fruit Flies are bad, yeah. but they're lighter and gentler than, than uh, they're smaller, yeah. house flies, which are funny because I don't know why they call them house flies because they're, they're poop flies, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that, and then they, 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 well, they, they reproduce and poop, and then they fly in your house, and then they, so they like, are, so I guess you could call them a poop house fly, <laughs> but, but a house fly, no, they don't reproduce in your house. They don't go and sit on your couch and then start reproducing, and then, and then they find a pile to do that on. Oh that? man! <laughs> and if it, and the moisture and the steamier and the fresher, you know. Of course, it could have been an old one, and then it rained, you know. <laughs> You're of course. So gross. 
Uh, of course, hey, you know, that makes me think this drought has probably made a lot less flies. I don't know. <gasps> oh, we could yeah. keep talking about poop all day. <laughs> Man, I tell you. You seem to be a poop expert. <laughs> Does that go back to your time in prison? Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. Oh, no. No, that'd be so wrong. So, uh, so what else has been going on with you? Well, I made a, a little short comedy skit. You did? Yeah. I'm starting a series. For, I have two already written out for the when series. Did you do that? It's an anti discrimination series. Really? And the first one I just got done filming, uh -huh. and now I'm editing it. Where'd you and film it's a. Uh, right in front of the Monroe Public Library. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Oh, okay. So what's it about? Well, uh, this one is uh, don't discriminate against Chinese. Okay. And then another one will be don't discriminate against the, it'll be a combo one. Don't okay. discriminate against the poor and the black. Okay. So, okay. and of course I play uh, the, the, the bigot. Okay, okay. And uh, so, uh, but anyway, in the Chinese one I went and I, I uh, found this great actor. Uh-huh. Stump fell on my lap, uh -huh. <laughs> and because uh, for some reason when I go solicit trying to get actors, yeah. they they they're like, no, dude, no, yeah, because they just, well, I'm not like you. Yeah, you get gas here all the time. I can never get gas. Yeah, but that's because they people, think you want porn. They, they, yeah, they or think they just think gonna it's going to get weird. Right, and, it's going to. And get it does weird, get weird. And then there's going to be telephones. Oh, and, and then I'll know. be calling you late at night, yeah. three o'clock in the morning. What are you wearing? Yeah. I just did it. Away. Brooms and all Broom things. handles. Yeah. And, uh, oh, oh you know what I'm talking oh, about. <laughs> You're like, Let me just, I didn't even mention, didn't mention the broom handle. Yeah, He's just like. But then it's time to drop the trowel. Take that brush. I put it over there. I'll just brush up the, brush up the flies off the rear end. Oh, God. You know. Hey, so it reminds me, my friend said, how is making older women, how is making love to older women like opening up a, th that old window in the back of your house that doesn't get open very often? You first got to brush all the dead flies off the sill. Oh! 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 Woo! That wrong. is sick. That's wrong. That is just That's wrong, wrong, man. Yeah, then wow. you got to kind of kind of wow. hit on it a little bit, not too hard, you know. <laughs> <laughs> don't break the pelvis there. Oh, or the wind, or the glass, you know. It's the same thing. You but you want to tap on a little bit to just to get that thing <laughs> kind of break the seal and then <laughs> but, and then get in there. And, oh no, no, that's enough. No, all more. right, all right. Please, please. All right. Let's get back to your uh, okay, your anti discrimination. Okay. So uh it's uh, I walk up to the guy and I mm. say, uh uh he's sitting there and I go, Hey, you know, Chinese don't drive, they aim. I say something bad. I, I say like that. And then he goes, that was rude. You must. And he, said, and he stands up and he goes, um. And, and then he goes, and he walks away. Uh -huh. And, I, and I, walk, I start walking behind him. I say, hey, don't walk away from me, old man. And he takes this cane. He goes, right in my stomach. And I go, oh. And he turns around. He takes the, the, the handle. And he, goes, and he goes, you should have respect for all people. And remember, Chinese are gentle peaceful people <laughs> and I say okay and then he turns around he walks away again uh -huh. and he turn, turns around and he takes a cane and goes, right in my balls <laughs> he just he does the thing with like that I, I go what's that for and he goes well maybe we're not all that gentle <laughs> really yeah and that's how it ends oh my god yeah. I gotta see that yeah so, so, so Chinese people don't drive they aim well, that's that's a see. It's anti-discrimination. I truly don't believe this. You don't. No. <laughs> I, I you hesitated. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> I. Uh, I mean, you know. You know, there's a little bit of truth to everything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. Like, yeah, like you that up here. Republicans are good people, uh, and that they aren't all about corporations. I'm gonna beat you right now. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you in the. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you had a little bit of experience recently with a big corporation. I oh I did. Yeah. I worked at uh, McDonald's. And how'd that go? It went all right. It's hard work. It's hard work. Yeah. Uh, they're all similar, and yeah. uh, it was hard work, uh -huh. and um, so you know it's honest work, and it's uh, yeah, good work. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, it's it's great to be uh, a temporary worker there. Yeah. And it's it's great when you're new. Mm -hmm. You just show up and you work. And even though it's hard work, it's it's just it's laid out for you. Yeah. And that's the cool thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Your and your schedule is uh, they never rarely keep you longer than they need to because they're very good at scheduling. Mm. Uh, I will say, the food is is as fresh. It, it's as fresh as it can be. 
Really? Yeah, you see it move. Okay. Nothing ever sits there at McDonald's. Oh. So I want to say that about the food. Okay. Nothing ever sits. It never sits in the freezer. Oh. The food never sits in the refrigerator. And, and the food that comes out yeah. of the refrigerator into the little mini refrigerators that are in the kitchen uh -huh. or that are actually, it's actually processed, yeah. ever sits. Wow. And um, so. Uh, that's impressive. Yeah. So that's a good thing. Yeah. They have it down to a science. Yeah. The, the personnel, the way they kind of deal with them and the way they rotate their ships around are, you'd be surprised, all of a sudden now they're dummies. I, I, yeah, you know, they're, they're geniuses when it comes to rotating food, yeah. but when it comes to rotating people, oh, all of a sudden that's like a mystery <laughs> and they've never done it before and it's like they've, they've only landed on Earth for the first day and, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah, so it's uh, kind of, yeah. Yeah, so, so overall, how would you, would you rate that experience? It, it was all right. Yeah. Yeah. I give a C. And 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 that helped to, it made you feel better about corporations, right? That they're doing the right thing and helping people and, and they've got their people's No, it just pretty well confirmed what I thought. Which is you know, that I, I don't think they really care about the people. The corporations don't. Yeah, made especially the Fortune one hundred. Really? The one hundred yeah, I think they, they really don't care. Um, especially the way they treated their managers. You know, mm -hmm. most companies when you move up in management you get some more perks. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Their managers get certain perks, like they get more hours, they get 40 hour a week, oh. and they get medical benefits. Oh, really? So they get that kind of a benefit, mm -hmm. but, they, 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 but they also jerk them around with their schedules. Oh, I see. So from week to week, they're not sure what they're working. Oh, wow. And it's like they, they want them not to have a good family life. It's like they want them to, um, uh, quit before oh. they retire. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, and like I, I, I came up with this conclusion, hey, if you want somebody to not retire with yeah. your company, we live in an age where a corporation, all he has to do is call up his local congressman and say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I plan on not giving anybody in this state retirement at my corporation, <laughs> and you're going to back me up. And even a Democrat is because get, everyone's getting paid off. Oh, yeah. And we have legalized bribery, especially right. with Citizens United. It's even more illegal now than ever. Yeah. Would we'll just say, okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to have a news conference, and mm -hmm. uh, you can say I'm a, the Democrat. You just say I'm a bad person. Republican, mm -hmm. you say, hey, there's nothing wrong with it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And then I'll pay you both. And I'll, yeah, and I'll just pay you both. <laughs> and they'll say, okay. It's like an actor. It's just you just script it. He gives him a script. He actually emails him a script. Says, you're going to, boxer, Barbara Boxer, you're going to go out and you say, you're outraged. And then you're just going to do nothing. And do nothing. And you're just going to do nothing. Well, that's what different kinds do. They're outraged and then they, nothing happens. And the Republicans will say, why are you outraged? Yeah. I'm outraged that you're outraged. You should be not outraged about anything. And that's their script. Right. And then, and then the corporation just says what they're supposed to. So why they have this weird, and, and then give the workers the best shift they can, yeah, especially the managers, yeah, predictable shifts and stuff like that. That way they can, because it'll increase their efficiency, which will only increase their profits. Right. And then you're not going to get in retirement anyway, so why? <laughs> but this weird game where you're messing with their shift because you want them to be, yeah. they have all, the, like they work, you know, one or two night shifts uh, a week, and then like the next day they got to come in at 11. Like I've seen some of like they came up at like four or five, and then they got to come in at 11 the next day. Oh man! Yeah, they mess with them. They oh, really man. mess with them. That's the best. And stuff. they don't know like two weeks in advance what their schedule is. But you know what? Uh, the only thing so, I have to say is this is I mean we we live in the best society in the world. I mean this is capitalism at its finest. I wouldn't say so. You wouldn't. No, I uh, capitalism needs to have a lot more competition. Oh. Capitalism, um, by my definition, or, yeah. or by in general definition, needs to have a lot of rigorous uh, competition. Oh, yeah. So the more small businesses you have, yeah. the more capitalism you have. Right. So interestingly enough, when, say, for example, um, they broke Standard Oil up into five major companies. Right. They increased capitalism. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, on, on Fox News or, or, or Standard Oil themselves would say, ah, oh, the government stepped in and that's socialism. But in fact, they had social, uh, corporate socialism mm -hmm. because there was no competition. Right. They could monopolize things. Right. When they broke them up from the five, mm -hmm. interestingly enough, uh, there was more capitalism. And there is anti-monopoly. Um, anti laws on the books. That's right. And everybody knows it. They're just not really being enforced. Why? It's, it's, like, it's like Bank of America should be broken up and into at least five banks. And Facebook yeah. should be broken up. 
Yeah, yeah, because that's that's concerning me too about how. Yeah. Uh, remember, it came out that they did that weird thing uh, about a year or two ago, a yeah. social experiment, right? Where they would feed one group of people a lot of negative news, yeah. and then other people got fed positive news. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to be free. Right. I, I like whatever pages I like. Yeah. And I'm supposed to get whatever pages I want. So yeah. now you're admitting that you're tainting my information. Right. Yeah. Well, can I have an organization that doesn't take my information? Yeah. No, because there's only one Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I'll go to Twitter. Well, that's kind of, you know. Yeah. And, then, and then Google's got this weird thing yeah. where they have a Google button on every other. So even though I'm not using, say, Google Chrome or whatever, I got, there's Google always somewhere on there. So in other words, everything's all interlinked. Yeah. And then, of yeah. course, you know, all these corporate guys, they have these closed door sessions in Congress. Yeah. Right. And I don't think they would be closed doors if they weren't talking was, about how yeah. we're going to monopolize this. Right. You know. And you know who I blame? The Democrats. Okay. Because yeah, you can blame them. Because yeah. they're, 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 at least the Republicans are being honest so nice. about it. <laughs> yes. At least they're saying, hey, we hate Americans and yeah. we just want you to be slaves. And we're really not too keen on the. Yeah. People of color, and we want y'all right. to be slaves. Yeah, but the but, but the Democrats pretend like they yeah. don't. But yeah, they're still getting. Yeah, dominant. yeah, yeah. So. I uh, what did, well, Malcolm X said? He goes, um, he goes, Republican, and he said this back in the '60s. Uh -huh. Republicans are the wolf, mm -hmm. and he goes, the Democrats are the fox. Mm. He goes, the wolf. When you meet him in the in the forest. Um, there's no, there's no doubt that he is, he's stalking you and wants mm. to kill you. Mm. And whenever you see one from a distance and he looks at you, you know what he wants. Mm -hmm. he, he, um, he wants you, he, there, his, his needs are clear. Right. He wants you to go away, leave him alone if he's got a den or whatever. He wants to kill you. There, there's, no, there's no mystery. Right. And he never acts like he's afraid. A mm -hmm. fox always darts around and he always acts like he's afraid. Yeah. You know, and he always looks like like he's like you're victimizing him when you walk into the forest. Yeah. But in the end, if um, uh, if you turn your back, yeah. or you didn't leave your your backpack, your knapsack, well, yeah, he would tear into it, right. and take everything out of it. Yeah. Um, if you got hurt or injured, and he was a big enough fox, mm -hmm. he might start eating you before you're dead. Right. You know, he would attack you. In other words, he's not really afraid. He's right. just playing a game. Right. That he's somehow. So he, he just so birch slap Malcolm, you. Malcolm X said he goes I respect the Republicans more than the Democrats because I know he they don't like me. Oh yeah. They don't hide it. Right. And and I don't think anything's changed in the '60s to to now. You know I, think. I don't either. I don't either. I think that um, well, you know me. I'm an anarchist. Yeah. So yes. That's interesting. It is. Is it's it yeah. Is. You don't see that a lot. No. Um, I, I want to. I, I think you've probably, uh, and I probably need to read up on it. Remember, it was it was big that a lot of people called themselves anarchists uh, mm -hmm. before World War II. Right. Yeah. So there must be some kind of something that you've read that I haven't read that. Right. Because it is a true anarchy. It's it's a it's a type of right idea that. Well, it is, and it's a, and it's a, and it's a, a means to an end. I uh -huh. mean, an anarchist is is just an anarchist until everything is fair. Mm -hmm. And then, and then he's part of that system. Yeah, you know. So, but this is not the time nor okay. place yeah, to, yeah, yeah. to talk about Marxism. Yeah, because I'm getting too. Yeah, uh, we got to get back uh, into poop. Yeah, let's talk a little bit and, more about poop, and then we're going to bring and a guy's forcing <laughs> a new young innocent boy, nubile. Is is that where the is that where you came up with the term drop trap? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got that from the Grease Man. I don't know if any of you guys know that. Any old timers out there? There was a, a famous DJ called the Grease Man, and I don't know where he is now. <laughs> Maybe in <Yeah>. that prison. <laughs> oh, boy. he's dropping. The problem was, is he lost his job because he didn't drop trowel enough for the <laughs> for his bosses over in uh, in radio. Oh man. Yeah, he got too uppity, and they. Uh, <laughs> but he said drop trowel. That's what, that's where I got it from. He, the, he would say, "Time to drop, drop trowel." Trow. That's how he would say it, too. He goes, I was talking to this woman, and we're out on a date, or he'd be like, or I was in jail, and I'm my cellmate told me, and, and then he would and then the say, and you knew the saying was coming, he goes, and now it's time to drop trout. And then he played the sound effect of, of a pig squealing. That's so gross, dude. Yeah. He was but a great it's guy. funny. Yeah. It's funny. And yeah. funny is good. All right, Dirk, that's all the time we have for today. Woo.
I that, worn that out. Was, that was some good quiet reflections today. Yeah, that I didn't was. get too angry. No, and we went I, to some interesting places. Yeah. So anyway, thank you, Oh, sir, sir as always, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank All you right. so much for being with us. And we would also like to thank you for putting up with us. We want to thank our 20, 30, 30 or 40 uh, viewers. Yeah. And, um, and keep those emails coming. And, uh, tell your friends to watch. And we will keep putting out quality, quality yeah, programming. Yeah, it is quality. And you tell your friends to watch. And, and quality uh, programming for, for days to come. Okay? Thank you. For <laughs>